absolute noob. Got gas light on? Always. I'm kind of, I'm kind of excited. You said it's pretty fire? <sighs> like butter. It's so weird. It is weird. It's like even better than the stock one. Yeah, I know. And it's weird because it doesn't make the noise, like a chattery noise, like a multi-disc. It feels like a stock car and it's amazing. It's like really soft. Like, like softer than soft. It's weird how it doesn't like, it's not, it doesn't shudder at all. How did it, how did they do this? I don't know, that's literally what I texted him right when I drove up. I was like, how the hell do you guys do this? Seriously, I don't even get it. I've never had this experience before. Holy shit, yeah, this thing's easy to drive. this clutch um i'm obviously super excited to test it out when we go over like the 300 mile mark and when we can start like hammering down on it a little bit more to see like exactly how it reacts with power we have to go pick up coda so if you're new to the channel you don't know who coda is coda is my himalayan cat and i love him dearly he's my son and he just got a haircut um this morning he's like a super fluffy cat we're gonna go see how his haircut turned out apparently he got like the sunflower cut so he's gonna be coming out looking like a sunflower he sheds really bad around this time of year so <laughs> Look at him, I am so boy. We got Coda in the house. I think he's happy to be out of that place. Coda is really good about riding in my car. Um, usually, it's so weird because I, I've had a few people ask me like, how do you get your cat to be so good in a car, especially like a loud one? Um, honestly, I've had him in, <laughs> in cars ever since he was like a little kitty. So, I mean, he just kind of chills. Usually in the summertime, I roll down the window and he'll poke his head out the window like a dog. One eternity later. It has honestly been a few, like three or four days later. I wanted to record so bad this previous, like last few days, but I caught a cold and I am just now feeling better enough to vlog. I still feel like I'm sick, but I definitely feel a lot a lot better so here i am it's like four days later i apologize you guys we are going to the shop i'm gonna go work on my eox with devin all right we made it to the shop devin and i went and got coffee dutch bros coffee i got a decaf and you guys if you're new to the channel this is my evo 10. as you guys can see she's super super dirty <laughs> i know i might scratch, the, scratch paint. the paint it's okay Super, super dirty, just filled with parts. Today, I believe we're just gonna wash it and we're kind of gonna go over the engine a little bit and see, just look around, you know, have a little bit of fun. Wow, what a beaut, kind of. But, I believe we're gonna wash Barry. Good, good, great. We're good. We're good, we're running over Bobby's <laughs> We're, ah, babe, we're acting good. <laughs> well, this looks like a completely different car. What? Okay, hands down, this is by far my favorite evil color. This is literally why I got this car, is because it was this beautiful, like, Java-y paint. Um, the only thing is, I wonder if you can see it in the camera. The hood's a little bit swirled, a little chipped, which is fine. We can fix it. You can do carbon hood. Carbon hood, that'd be cool. Um, next thing we're gonna do is remove the plugs, you say? Just looking her over. Looks 
So you got debt on cylinder three. A little bit of detonation going on. So what we're gonna do is put in the battery. Batteries are located in the trunk on Evos, if you guys didn't know that. So we got a really, really small battery back here. Connect the battery and we're gonna turn the car over and just see what happens if it starts, what it sounds like. Not quite that. Oh. I'm looking inside the cylinder walls. Oh. To see what's up. Okay. That's all. I don't know why, but Evos feel like home. Ooh, we got power. Nice. Okay, Devin just informed me he wants to actually, he, as in not me, him, wants to start the car. God, guys, I look so tired right now. So we're gonna possibly start the car? I don't know. I don't know if I can do this, Devin. Hold on, before we fire it up, how long am I letting it run? I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Hold on, let me roll down the window first. All right, are we ready? I'm gonna have a mini heart attack. What do you mean, let's just full send? What do you mean? I, I don't think I can do this one. Okay. I I don't, I, I don't know. I just couldn't tell you. <laughs> I'll tell you. I know that. It's just my anxiety. Hit it. Okay. <laughs> it's like the best thing in the whole world to hear your car start yeah. for the first time. That was pretty, it started like right at It's so quiet. It was kind of quiet. Huh? It's like really quiet. You want to start up again? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Whoops. That's oil, you guys, and it's oh, it's focusing on your freaking arm. Milk. There's a ton of coolant in the oil now that we just started it and resonated everything. Got everything moving around. Devin checked the oil, and that's what we found, so it's just not a good sign. I'm assuming Devin's going to pull the whole engine eventually, and I'll be learning a lot. Eventually, I'll probably pull this bitch tomorrow. Tomorrow? Probably, I'm bored. I don't know you guys, maybe we'll pull the engine tomorrow. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna end this video here you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been all over the place, but I will actually see you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna record the last day of my 75 hard, take you guys through my whole day routine. Um, we are boarding a plane later at night, five o'clock PM. So I gotta get everything done before then and I wanna take you guys with me. So I will see you guys tomorrow.